Hi there, Steve Better from Autodesk in the UK here. Just want to spend a couple of minutes just answering a question that I've been asked quite a few times recently, and that's about getting data from Adobe Illustrator into the Autodesk design applications. Now what we've got on screen here is a company design logo um, that's been created in Adobe Illustrator CS4. And it's been created using the vector-based tools that Adobe Illustrator has, and also the layering-based system that, uh, that Illustrator also has. But what we want to do is reuse this data inside of AutoCAD, AutoCAD Mechanical, or Autodesk Inventor. Now, Illustrator's got the ability to export to a number of different file formats, two of those being the AutoCAD DWG format and also the DXF file format. Now, what I'm going to do here is choose to export this to an AutoCAD DWG file format, but I'm going to leave all the options as the default options. I'm not going to change anything at the moment. I'm just going to accept the default options, OK that, and then we're going to open this up into AutoCAD Mechanical. Now this could be any of the AutoCAD based applications, but um, in this case I've chosen to use AutoCAD Mechanical. Now we can find that DWG file, open it up, and we can see that we've got that DWG file or that DWG data loaded into AutoCAD Mechanical so that it can be reused inside of AutoCAD based applications if needs be. But let's see how we bring this into Autodesk Inventor. Now again I'm using the Insert AutoCAD tool inside of the Sketch environment within Inventor and the Import wizard opens up and we can see that all of those layers that were originally created in Adobe Illustrator have been honoured so we can use them inside of the Sketch environment within Inventor and then we just choose to import that data in. But if we actually look at how that data has been brought in, we can see that everything has been split up into individual splines. We've got individual segments of geometry, which is not really the best way to work. So what we actually want to do is when we export this out of Adobe Illustrator and we choose that DWG file format, we can make one quick change, which is changing the options to maintain editability. By selecting that maintain editability, what we're actually going to end up with is slightly more intelligent data inside of Autodesk Inventor. So we're just going to run through that process again. We're just going to bring this into AutoCAD Mechanical. And again, we can see that all those layers are in there again. I'm just going to save this away. And then flip back to Autodesk Inventor, insert that DWG file. And it goes through that import DWG process that we've uh, we've already been through once. Again, we can see that the layers are there. We can select geometry individually if needs be. All we then need to do is just finish off the import drawing wizard. That geometry is imported into our sketch environment. And yes, you'll see that the circles are still splines, but the text geometry is intelligent text that we can make edits to inside of that sketch environment. So hopefully that answers this question. See you next time.